Hello and welcome to the 18th episode of Play to Play from Scratch. My name is ActiQ and this is my newbie account called ChipTQ. And with ChipTQ we have achieved a bond in eight and a half hours and now we are working towards getting my character into be being able to kill QBD pretty easily. And yeah, I had some merch with the Staff of Light before and the merch went through. And I have also bought some bright energies, but not that many. But we will just leave the bright energies back to the GE and check how much money we get for that. So I left in some offers to the GE, so I just put all my bronze claws to sell back. So that's again some free GP. I will sell all my bright energy. And I insta bought one Staff of Light for 4 99 and now I'm trying to buy more of them for 391 and maybe we can buy some and flip it for 100k profit each. So since the war bands is soon, I figured that I should bring my character to maybe the Corporal Beast cave or something like that. And maybe if when I do the war bands on my main account, maybe then I will find some um, places to loot. So yeah, that's possibility. So I will bring my character there and then I will log off and go to my main account and then I will be back. So I'm right here and as I don't have multi-combat on, there is low risk that anybody can kill me actually. And I will just rest my stamina to full and then I will just log off and log to my main account. So there was some loot in this world, uh, in a Herblore camp. So this is actually the only world that had Herblore. And I think I've still got two minutes time and I didn't see anybody that can kill me. So maybe I'll be able to loot the camp. Maybe I won't. So we will see. But I'm trying to loot the camp right now. So the camp died, but we managed to loot something. But yeah, this is not that much. So it probably isn't worth it. But at least I got some loot. Okay, and I'm turning my XP in. So at least I got one level up. So 11k XP. So it's... It was worth it, but yeah, small amount of XP still compared to what you can get in the warbands. So I actually took one hour off from this account and all my energy have sold, my bronze claws have sold. But I haven't sold the Staff of Light, which is kind of bad news to be honest. Because that means that we might lose out a bit on this. Because maybe it was a fake price when we bought it for 500k. But I'm still gonna leave these two for 499, as my offer for the buy isn't really going through either. So, as I need level 50 fire making to make the Desert Treasure quest, which is a very important quest for any PVM, and very important quest for training my defense, uh, that's why um, I figured that I would buy a lot of logs, and uh, also oak logs, and just whenever I'm AFKing at the Granic Chains, and just browsing through some things that I can do, I will just slowly train my fire making to level 50. At the moment I'm checking how to make my thieving level start very fast, because I need to make some thieving level ups and um, I need 53 thieving for the desert treasure quest. So I just reached level 15 in fire making and I will start burning oak logs after I finish my inventory. And I just got level 20 in fire making, so I figured that yeah, I need to start doing thieving now. I won't do 53 like in a row because that would make again very boring episodes, but I'm gonna start it now, so I'm heading to Taverly. And I think I will pickpocket this guy for 8 XP per pickpocket, and that will get me to level 5 pretty fast. And now I got level 5 in thieving, and then I can move to the cake stalls, and cake stalls will give me considerably faster XP than just stealing the merchants. So I'm stealing this bakery stall, and that gives me 16 XP, and I'm pretty much succeeding every single time. And there we go, I just got 15 in thieving, and I'm still continuing to steal this stall, because it's quite good XP to be honest. Oh, and I just got attacked by a guard. And I just got level 20 in thieving, and I know that I could now go steal the silk stalls, but I think I will go until level 22 here, and then I will be stealing these like... I will be stealing the bakery star like this, and then I will go behind it and steal the wine stall, 
and then go steal the bakery store again. And this way I can gain probably faster XP than just going for the silk stalls, I think. And this location is anyway better than are doing. So I just got a message that I can actually do the first room of Pyramid Plunder. I don't know how great XP that can be, but maybe it's okay, so I will try that out. And there is a quest requirement for accessing the place, but you can go around this quest requirement by using the Pharaoh Sceptre. So I will buy the Pharaoh Sceptre from the Grand Exchange and then I will just simply teleport to the Pyramid Plunder. And I have teleported here, so we will just start the minigame. And I can actually only loot the first room, but I don't think that's still bad, because they give a lot of XP compared to those stalls, so let's see. Yeah, it's giving me 60 XP for one urn, so I think this is the best place to train thieving. And apparently it's not failing too much often, too often either. I'm getting 60 XP from every urn, and I haven't failed so far. Yeah, this was definitely the right decision. I'm getting amazing XP here. 60 XP from one urn and I only failed one time so far. So yeah, this is very, very good. So I decided that I would get right now level 30 in thieving because that way I can do the troll stronghold quest. And troll stronghold quest gives you two lamps. And those lamps can be used in summoning. And both of the lamps uh, give 10k XP. So that's gonna give me some decent amount of summoning level ups. And there we go, I just got 25 in thieving, so 5 levels to go. So finally after like 1 hour and 30 minutes or something of training thieving, I have level 30 now. So I will just finish this one round in the pyramid blunder and then I will go do the troll stronghold quest. So I have accepted the quest and in this quest I have to rescue Godric that is in Troll Stronghold and Godric is the son of Dunstan I believe and Dunstan is the guy that makes the rock climbing boots. So I got myself a pair of climbing boots from Freda and now I can just head to the Troll Stronghold. And I believe you are supposed to use this hidden path that you created in the first troll quest uh, that we did. Um, at least this will make it slightly easier and I won't be attacked by any trolls when I use this K over here. Okay, and I think I need to go through this gate to fight Dad. I'm just gonna use protection from melee for this, but I believe I have to kill Dad. I... Okay, at least he's attacking me, so apparently yes. It's looking very, very easy fight actually. I was expecting for much harder thing, so now we just get, uh, we don't actually even need to use devotion ability to be honest. Oh, I just fought him two times, that was kind of a mistake I suppose, I attacked him after I killed him, or you don't actually have to kill him I think. So yeah, it said in my quest journal that I have defeated him, so I suppose this is the right way to go. I actually don't remember doing this quest that much because I did it only one time on my main account and that was like many many years ago. But apparently I can just go forward. And this place is actually already very familiar to me because um, this is where I come when I use my troll stronghold teleport when I go to God Wars for example. Okay and as I don't have high level enough of um, Agility, I have to go through this place where they throw me with the rocks, but with the protection prayer I this is just a breeze and it's very easy. And I have found myself into the troll stronghold. So according to the quest guide I have to kill one troll general and then I will get the key to the prison I suppose. And as you can see this is also a very easy fight. Should be at least, yeah, and that's done, and now I got the prison key. And now I have found myself to the troll prison, and I believe I need to pickpocket these guys to get the key to rescue... There's actually Godric and Edgar, so yeah, I got the key, and let's see if I can open this door. Yeah, I have unlocked the door, and I have released Edgar. And the other pickpocket was unsuccessful, so now the tweak attacked me, but that's also very easy to kill. 
So now I got the next key and now I can actually save Godric. And now that I have saved the guys from this place, I will just go back to Burthope and talk to Dunstan. And that's it, quest completed and I got two reward lamps for 10k each. So let's use the lamps on summoning. So, okay, how many? We got two level ups in summoning from this lamp. And maybe one level up for the next lamp. Okay, oh, actually we got two levels from that too. So we are level 47 summoning at the moment. And as the dig site quest is also a requisite for the desert treasure, I will do this quest right now. And it will also give me a good jump start to the mining skill. So we are only level 7 in mining and I will get a lot of XP from the dig site quest. So that's always nice because you never know what kind of requirements you need later. So according to Wikia this quest requires a lot of running so it's listed as long quest but as I have to do it anyway at some point I will just do it right now. So I'm talking to this examiner and I want to take an exam in the dig site. And I have to show this exam to the curator of the museum in Varok. And I got a stamp to my letter or something like that from the curator. So apparently I can't finish the exam over there even if I would have a walkthrough. So I have to find information from the other students to the exam's questions. Okay, so apparently this student has lost his teddy, uh, her teddy bear, teddy bear and I have the teddy bear over here. So if I give the teddy to her, she will give me answer to some questions. And this student has lost animal school that he found from the dig site. And I suppose I need to steal it from the dig site workmen. And I have found the animal school and now I'm just gonna return it to this student. Okay, and the last student who's this one over there has lost some kind of special cup and I have to find the special cup. And to find the special cup I think I need to take a panning tray and just go panning this to the shore. And to gain permission to pan over here I needed to give a cup of tea to this guy as it was. So let's search our panning tray and we just found some gold. And let's keep just panning the shore and maybe we will find the special cup. And from the lake I have found the special cup. And now I have all the answers to the questions in the exam so I can go take the exam in the exam center. And I just passed the level 1 exam. And now I have acquired the answers for the second part of the exam. So I got my second certificate for the exam and now I need to probably run for the answers again and talk to the students one more time. And that's it, I just got the level 3 so I can get on with this quest. So apparently I need a trouble and that was not in the quest guide. So I'm trying to get it as from pickpocketing the dig site workman but it's not really um, happening but it's it's gonna take some time so that's why I'm kind of wasting time over here uh, I've been already thieving the dig site workmen for like five minutes or more and in this time I could have just went to the Varak museum and got into trouble for uh, free okay this is officially pissing me off so I'm just gonna go to Varak museum and get my trouble from there and then I will go back to the dig site Oh my god, what I just realized is that I got a trouble as a reward from one of the certificates and surprise surprise I dropped it on the ground because I didn't think I would need it. I thought I just would get a random junk from the rewards. So I don't know and I cannot also get a trouble from the Varrock Museum because I need to complete dig site guest quest first. So yeah, I'm gonna have to try to find a trouble somehow now. And I just spoke to the examiner and I got a trouble for just speaking to that person. So I'm kind of embarrassed that I got... It was kind of my own fault that I was getting slow with, on with this quest. But now we can finally continue this quest. So we have to convince some kind of master archaeologist. And we have to make a big find in the dig site to continue the quest. 
Okay, and now I found from the traveling the ground, I found uh, ancient talisman. And this should be a find that's enough to impress the master arche archaeologist. And I believe the archaeologist believed that the symbol was the symbol of Zaros. And this also matches my idea of the dig site because after you complete the temple at Sendisten, you will get the Zaros courses from the dig site. So I suppose we are kind of on our way to the ancient curses, but I'm not gonna get them on this account. So I think now I will be able to enter the cave. Yeah, and this is the cave. So this dig shaft was a dead end, but there you can see the place where you activate the ancient curses. So I suppose I will have to use the other winch to go there. And I need to get somehow through these bricks and I think I'm supposed to make them explode or something like that. Okay, I believe I have gathered all the supplies that I need to make nitroglycerin. And now I just need to speak to archaeological expert and to talk about the nitroglycerin. So I have finally acquired the chemical compound. And chemical compound should be something that explodes and it will give us access to that place where we had those bricks blocking the way. Okay, I have used my chemical compound on this brick and now we'll ch I will just search it and use a tinder box on it so it will explode and we will finally be able to get this stone tablet from this place. So run! And I think the explosion was... Actually there was kind of no explosion, it, the, it was just clear. But yeah, okay, now I can get the stone tablet. And I believe this is the place where you have the Zaros altar when you have uh, completed some more quests. And I just showed the Zaros tablet to the dig site archaeological expert. And now I'm finished with the quest, finally. And this was very long quest and I was getting kind of frustrated in the middle of the quest. But we got 15.3k mining XP, so let's check how many level ups that is. So we got 23 mining level ups from this quest, so that's quite a lot to be honest. So we are level 31 in mining at the moment. But this has been quite a draining experience because I did a couple of long quests. So I think I will wrap up this episode right now. Uh, for Desert Treasure we still need Temple of Ikov and we need Fire Making 50 and 53 Thieving. And then I will do that quest definitely. So, I don't know, I'm pretty sure that I will just work on getting that, to be honest, pretty soon. Because it's gonna be so nice to have the ancient, uh, what's it called, ancient magics. But yeah, I think this is pretty much about what I wanted to do in this episode. It's not that long, but I did a lot of training in this episode and I did two long quests, so I think that's fine. So, if you are liking this series, please leave it a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, see you guys later.